guess this is a welcome to the vlog clip because I haven't spoken to you yet, but I've been editing all morning, so it feels like I have. I am headed out the door right now. Hello, welcome to the vlog. It is Tuesday, August 17th, 2021, and this is a little week in my life, a shortened one because it's Tuesday. But I'm looking forward to this week. We're starting it off. Uh, well, it's already been started. It's been there, but I am getting on my way to a nail appointment right now. So um, my little pink French tips are just kind of looking a little rough and grown out. So I'm gonna do a different kind of French tips. I honestly just love French tips um, for nails. I think it suits me best and it's simple. And I like how when it grows out, it's not as stark as a color because when you have the space. But anyway, I am gonna do a little bit of a different design. So you'll see, but I go pretty much every three weeks now and my appointment's in like 10 minutes. So I need to get on my way, start my day. So happy Tuesday, let's go. Here's what we're working with for a before shot. <laughs> Okay, I just picked up the Cortado. My nails look so cute. I went with French with a little white line. She did such a good job. Obsessed. Much better. Okay, it is later now. I think I showed you guys. I got my nails done. I went with French with a little line under them. Super cute. I'm obsessed. She does such a great job. I go to Honey Nail Salon. And now I've been back actually. Um, I had lunch a few hours ago, it's like 4 p.m. now, and I finished my video, so that's scheduled for tomorrow, so that's out of the way. And I need to get going on, I have actually like a writing, it's a sample, yes, but usually writing samples are like pre-existing things that you've done just to show your writing style. But for this job that I'm in the process of interviewing with, um, did I talk about this in this video? I don't know. But I got a second interview this week, at the end of the week, and in the meantime this week I need to submit this. It's a prompt and then I write and submit a sample based on the prompt kind of thing. So I'm working on that this week and I want to get started on it today. I want to try and submit it. Um, the deadline is Friday uh, by the end of the day, but I want to try and submit it earlier just to like show that I can do it quickly, you know? Um, not that that's necessary, but I do think it's better than submitting it at the last minute. Not that I'm gonna sacrifice quality of work, but I'm just aiming to try and submit it maybe like earlier in the day Thursday. So I wanna get started, there's three components and I wanna do one of them today or at least like draft it. Finished my video, I scheduled a soul cycle class this evening. I just really wanted to get like a hardcore workout in that was fun and I saw that they were doing an Olivia Rodrigo versus Avril Lavigne class and I was like, that sounds like a good time. So I scheduled that at 6.30. I have a little less than two hours until I need to leave. That's in Fidei, so not that far from me. And right now I'm making a snack while I'm working on this. So I bought some turkey at Whole Foods the other day. So I think I'm gonna do just like an open face turkey bagel situation. I don't know, kind of random, but just like half a bagel I toasted and I'm gonna melt some vegan cheese and put some turkey mayo and it's just kind of like a half sandwich situation. Say situation one more time. <laughs> Mike the situation. Honestly, I found the best way to melt this stuff is just stick it in the microwave for like 10, 15 seconds. That does the best. Okay, I definitely have, this is a turkey by the way, it's just like the Whole Foods brand. I definitely have a truffle mayo that Truff sent me. And I thought I'd opened it already, but it's not in the fridge, so maybe I didn't. So you need to locate that. I think I put them like somewhere in here. Here's truffle oil. Mayo though, even unopened, I feel like should be refrigerated. Hmm. Okay, my truffle mayo is hiding in the back, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on the cheese and then turkey on top, and that's essentially it. I don't use mayo very often, but I feel like this is one of the things that I can use it for. Okay, there we go, very rich. <laughs> Um, mini sandwich to hold me over. I look insane after my soul cycle class, but it was really fun. It was Avril Lavigne versus Olivia Rodrigo. It was just like a really good energy class. So I'm glad I went. I grabbed sweet green after for dinner because it was around the corner. And I got home to a package. I kind of decided going into the fall, 
as it gets colder and I want to drink more hot coffee I don't always love the sound of just like a plain cup of coffee so I was thinking you know what I could probably get like a little tiny espresso machine that would not take up too much space in my kitchen but just kind of mix up my coffee a little bit if I want to make an espresso drink. I've been loving Cortados, which is espresso. So I ordered the smallest Nespresso machine they had at Target. This is the Nespresso Essenza Mini, and it literally just makes espresso and longo, which is like, I think an Americano. And it is this small in this box. It just uses the little pods, very simple, which is all I really need. So I'm very excited to try this out. I'm going to make a coffee with it tomorrow morning. And I figure there's probably space for it right next to my coffee maker on the counter. If we place it, yeah, look at that. It's so slim. That doesn't take up hardly any space. And then there's a little water reservoir in the back so you don't have to fill it up every single time okay cool so i'm gonna get this thing going and then um we'll test it out tomorrow morning but i think she looks pretty cute pretty sleek hardly takes up any space i just have to take, take off the sticker but yay very excited about this Okay, this morning I want to try the Longo. It's a little bit of a bigger cup, not just espresso shots. Mmm. Yep. Yum. I love the taste of espresso. Okay, you guys, it is Wednesday afternoon actually. I've spent the morning working on these like writing samples that I'm doing. I'm taking a lot of time with it because I like obviously want them to be good. It's like creating products that I would be doing in this role essentially. So I want to like make them look really nice and yeah, just not rush it. So I've been doing that this morning and um, Sierra and I were gonna record the podcast right now, uh, but something came up for her. So we cannot right now. So I'm gonna go to the gym and do a workout because I want to wash my hair anyway. So I'm not even sure if we're gonna get to it today. It's just a crazy time and a lot is happening yeah until then i think i'm just gonna do a quick workout because i don't want to take too much time out of my day but i do want to get some sort of exercise before i wash my hair and then i'll come back and i guess i'll just keep working on this um until something comes up and maybe we can record later i don't know if it's gonna happen today we will roll with the punches oh yeah i got my newly box in the mail yesterday i picked it up also i have this really big blister on the back of my heel from a sock and shoe pairing I wore over the weekend and I walked a lot and I didn't realize that it was causing some friction on my heel. So now it's like, ow, kind of painful. I have a band-aid on, but still kind of painful to walk with a shoe at the back. So I might not even do cardio. I might just like do some weightlifting where I don't have to walk, but whatever. Anyway, that's besides the point. I got my newly box, super excited about some really cute stuff. Um, I might do a try on haul for you guys at some point in this video. But yay. Yeah, I'm just gonna do like a mini leg workout today. Not too intense, but just get some sweat in. Okay, I got ready. I'm gonna have dinner soon before I head over to trivia night. Did I say we're doing that already? I don't know. My friends and I are going to trivia at Freehold, which is a place in Brooklyn, Williamsburg. And I'm so hyped because I love trivia. We did trivia at um, this beer Olympics my friend had a few weeks back. And I got way overly competitive about it, and I got the most points for my team. Um, so, my competitiveness worked, but alas, I need to chill. But also, I need to do this in a more high stakes situation. So we found a trivia competition. I actually don't even know if there's like a prize. I assume there must be, but I haven't been to like a public trivia night since before COVID. So I'm very excited. But anyway, before that, I want to show you guys what I picked out from Newly. I'm wearing one right now. This one is a really cute baby doll top. It's so lightweight. I think it's perfect for end of the summer or any time of summer, but now we're nearing the end now. And I think you could do it off the shoulder um, or on the shoulder. I think it's really flattering, like the baby doll cut um, when it just right on the edge of your shoulder. And you can adjust this. It's by the brand Charlie Holiday. I'm not familiar with them, but 
on newly stretchy very cute okay this one is a jumpsuit it's a little bit long on me but i'll probably just wear something with a platform as far as shoes go but very lightweight it's kind of nice for end of summer also it's by the brand Faherty, Faherty, and it's an interesting bodice too. Um, it's new, it has tags on it. Not, I don't think it had any reviews or very few on the website, but stretchy. Um, I think it's a fun color. Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty flattering and it's lightweight, so won't get too hot and kind of fun. Okay, I got this denim jacket. It's like an oversized fit by the brand Pistola super cute i've never actually i do have a white denim jacket but it's more of a like fitted cropped kind of style so i like the fit that's baggy like this you can throw it off one shoulder make it more casual very fun lightweight for when you're going inside or somewhere that's cooler and i think it looks nice with this too the colors okay this dress is different than i expected this is a free people dress it's kind of fun with the little textures the eyelet detailing in the middle the skirt, I think it's really well done. I like that it's off the shoulder. It has a halter that I didn't tie because I don't feel like it. But the fit is just different. I thought it was gonna be like a stretchy, loose, comfy dress, but it's like a zip up, tight kind of dress. So if you're into that, it's cute though. Just different than I was expecting, so. Okay, I feel like I'm losing daylight, even though it's only like five something. But um, this one is, I think, anthropology i think it's cute but like it's something's off about it it's giving me matronly vibes i think it's something about like i really like the bodice the top half but i think the lower half just like isn't flattering on me or something and i'm just i feel matronly um but i think that the off the shoulder top half is cute um the arms are a bit itchy some of the reviews said that but not as bad as i thought but Anyway, it's fun color and pattern. Okay, this one I don't even think I'm gonna post on Instagram because it is just so different than I expected. Um, first of all, it doesn't even fully cover my boobs. Like this is a little explicit for the public. So it doesn't, there's just not enough coverage. Like it cuts in when it should cut across. Like I don't understand. Unfortunately, they were out of the petite ones. So it is a bit long. I mean, it's not that bad, but the back like, pretty much touches the ground and I don't think it's supposed to do that. It's like a fun idea. I like the flowiness. I do think it looks better on camera even because further away, like the pattern, I thought it was just like a very tiny floral pattern online. Okay, this is a lot. Um, but it's like these borderline ugly polka dots. It's just funky. <laughs> like it's just different than I thought. So yeah, kind of a fail on this one. I'm not sure that I'm gonna wear it. I can see how it would be cute. It's just not on me and the fit's just like not quite there. So, yeah, it's a wrap dress. Um, this one's new, it has tags also. I don't remember the brand, let me look it up. The brand is called Hutch. There's potential, but just not quite right. <laughs> but anyway, that is everything I got from Newly this month. Super excited to wear most of these, and I think they're a good mix of things for the end of the summer, so. Right on. I always have a link below. I have like a referral code that everyone who is a subscriber of Newly gets that I think sometimes it switches between getting $20 off and $10 off your first Newly box. So if you want to go check it out, um, it's in the description box. Highly recommend. Here you go. everyone it is thursday why was i about to say sunday i'm not okay last night we had trivia which was super fun we did not win which was a bummer but it was kind of interesting because we didn't realize before but it was like the same um company kind of that does the bingo nights that we like going to at the standard so it was very much like not a super hardcore like nerdy trivia it was like fun activities there was like limbo in the middle like light-hearted funny questions kind of thing. So it wasn't very serious. It was a lot of fun, um, but a little bit different than we were expecting. So we might like try and find just like a more traditional dive bar trivia situation. 
Um, but yeah, now it is Thursday morning and I am finishing up. Um, I'm just polishing the last bits of my writing sample and sending that off because I want to get it in today, hopefully before it gets too late in the day. Um, so I just wanted to give myself, instead of submitting it last night, I wanted to give myself the morning to look it over, edit, and look at it with fresh eyes before I finalize it. And then once that's off, um, I think I'm gonna work out. And actually I might do that, take a class this evening with my friend. So I guess I won't do that in the day. Happy Thursday, very chill. I need to make some food soon, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I'm done with my um, kind of writing sample thing that I've been working on. It definitely took longer than I thought it would. I just really wanted to make sure it was perfect. So I submitted that and that's out of the way. Um, and I almost went to a workout class in the city. And then I was like, you know what? I honestly don't think this is the best use of my time because like the time it would take me on the train, walking there and everything, like I just lose a lot of my evening. Um, so I was like, I can just do a workout here, but I didn't want to go down to the gym because this sounds so pathetic, but the blister on my heel, I just feel like walking in it in shoes with like tennis shoes on, it just hurts so much and I feel like it just makes it worse. So I was like, you know what? I can do a barefoot workout in my apartment. So that's what I'm doing. I am rolling out my yoga mat and I'm gonna do Chloe Teen workouts here. Um, on the carpet and I just wanted to get a little bit of a sweat in um, I want to wash my hair anyway, so Let's do it. We're gonna do part of her um, 2021 two-week shred. I'm gonna do this cardio one then do an abs one Also, I put on the like privacy shield on my computer So if I move this way, you can't see it had dinner and now I'm about to put on my self tanner so I'm wearing a little swimsuit so I thought I would show you guys I've been loving the B tan um, this is the darkest one tanned AF it's the darkest down here you can see and I use their mitt self tanning has pretty much become part of my Thursday routine because I like to do it once a week and it's just perfect for Thursdays because then it's fresh for the weekend and yeah, so I'm gonna use this and I use their mitt and I just go right in. I love B-Tan because honestly, you guys, I've used a variety of self tanners. I just put a couple pumps like that. I have not found one that looks as natural, streak free, like even, just subtle without being like crazy. Oh, she's definitely wearing fake tanner, but like gives you that boost of confidence. I love self tanner. So yeah, I just kind of you put this in even coat. It's not one of those that dries like so fast and looks streaky if you don't properly disperse it or anything. Like it's really, really easy to work with and you can see where you apply it, but you still are able to like blend it in. Here's this arm I haven't done yet. So here's a little before shot. We'll put it side by side when I shower off the self tanner tomorrow so you can see the after. Especially if you're new to self tanner, like this is the ultimate one to go for because you just can't mess it up. Like it doesn't streak, it looks so natural, it's not going to look crazy. Um, even if you leave it on longer than they recommend, like I've done that before and it's totally fine. It's created in Australia and it's clean beauty, so it is cruelty free, 100% natural DHA. It's approved by PETA. They're committed to sustainable beauty for all. And not only does it have all those great clean beauty attributes, but it's also affordable, which is really hard to find a self tanner that's not insanely expensive for one bottle and they sell it in Walgreens. I just can't recommend it enough. I got my best friend Sierra into it. She tried it out and was so impressed at like how natural and like even it looked on her too. And it dries like completely. It's really just like non-invasive as a self tanner if that makes sense. Like it doesn't smell harsh. It dries super quick and then you're like good to go. I sleep in it for eight hours and I don't feel like it's too sticky on my sheets or anything at all. Like I barely notice it. And then I'll just rinse it off in the morning and it reveals your natural looking tan. So I'm gonna have a link down below for B Tan. You can get it on Rite Aid, you can get it at Walgreens. Like I said, they now carry it there. And I just can't recommend it enough. So check it out. They have different levels of tanning too. They have like a purple based one if you're really worried about orange tones, but this isn't orange anyway. And they just have a variety of tans that fit 
your preferences. So check it out, link below. Thank you to BTN for sponsoring this video. I'm obsessed with them and so excited to show you guys my results tomorrow. So I'm gonna put this on the rest of my body and then um, just chill out and go to sleep and wake up and rinse it off. So, sell tan Thursday. Here is what my legs look like after the self tanner. We'll do a little side by side. Okay, so here's a shot of my arm after the self tanner. I think it looks so nice. You can definitely tell the difference, but it doesn't look crazy, which is what I love. I don't always sleep um, with it on, but when I do, I will wash my sheets after. It doesn't transfer really at all. It's pretty mild and not too bad, but it's usually like every other week anyway. So I'll probably do that this morning and I'm gonna start my morning making coffee, reading. <laughs> Here we go. I have about 10 minutes until my second interview for this, so the nerves are kicking in. I'm really not as nervous as usual. I think it's just because like, I don't know, I'm not overconfident, like I do worry, but um, I do also have a good feeling about this. I don't wanna jinx it, so I don't wanna say too much, but um, this is a longer interview. There's just a lot of unknowns. <laughs> So I have my document already. I'm just rereading some last minute things to really drill them into my brain, try and have some semblance of preparedness. I mean, I do feel pretty prepared, hopefully, knock on wood. Yeah, I spent my morning, I got up at six and had my morning routine so I could get to preparations like pretty substantively. And I do feel like I did that without overdoing it, hopefully. So. Yes, I will talk to you guys after the interview. I'm so excited. I just hope I have something good to report afterwards. Um, but I have my air blasting right now so I can turn it off while I'm talking, but I should probably check my Zoom setup and everything um, before we are live. So, okay, TTYL, wish me luck. I did it. Okay, interview is done. Depress, decompress, it was an hour long. Um, I feel really good about it. There was another person on the interview this time and um, it was just like good to hear more in depth and I didn't feel like unprepared for any questions. It definitely was like a really good conversation and I think I hopefully was able to communicate why I'm best for the position. And yeah, it was really good. Um, there was definitely a few points where I kind of like not that I faltered, but I found myself saying, wait, am I even addressing like the root of their question right now? Um, but I feel like that's just inevitable in any interview and it's okay. Um, but I think the overall feeling was positive and they said I was their last interview, so it's good to leave me on their mind. I'm fresh on their mind basically as their last interview is what I was saying. So very excited about that. I submitted my writing thing yesterday and Hopefully I'll hear back next week if it all goes well and I'm selected, then I'll start in September. But anyway, trying not to get too excited even though I already am. And I'm doing the thing where I'm like already picturing myself there so I need to chill, but yeah. Anyway, good things. I'm gonna take off this blazer now and watch Love Island <laughs> while I eat some food. Literally after any like interview, I always watch Love Island and eat food. Like that is my post interview comfort session. So that's what we're doing. I need to stop, bye. Okay, we have an hour and, well, about an hour since um, till we're gonna record the podcast. So I am gonna run to Whole Foods really quick because I'm making a salad to bring to my friend's house tonight. We're doing like, I don't wanna call it a dinner party because we're all just gonna be wearing sweats and like watching a movie. So it's like a chill, making dinner together um, movie night kind of thing. So I'm bringing a side salad. So I'm gonna go pick up some things for that and maybe a couple other things. Then I'll come back, record the podcast, edit a vlog, um, make the salad and yeah, that's my afternoon. So good stuff. Okay, to the store, <laughs> to the salon. Guys, I saw this on Instagram. It's sweetened condensed oat milk. So I'm very intrigued. I'm gonna try it with something. All right, for 
the salad i got some heirloom tomatoes some dill it's gonna be like a not greek salad but kind of it's just like a tomato cucumber dill salad thing i got some vegan feta to go with it i got a couple avocados and then a bell pepper is going in the salad a cucumber i got some diced onions somewhere i also just got some random things i'm gonna have some sushi after we record the podcast as a little lunch snack i picked up the sweet and condensed oat milk just because i'm really intrigued and now i'm thinking i'm so dumb because i didn't read the ingredients and i might be allergic to something oats sugar coconut oh perfect yeah, it's like not even that many ingredients. So very excited about this, even though I don't know what exactly I'm going to use it for, but we'll figure it out. Comment below if you have ideas. <laughs> and then just some other random things. I picked up some gluten-free panko because I feel like I need these uh, with HelloFresh sometimes and I don't have any right now. So this is good. Um, or if I just want to make some like breaded chicken that's gluten-free, I don't know. Another Olipop. This is the superior flavor in my opinion. Strawberry vanilla. I got a tomato soup. It's light in sodium. Yeah, I got some coconut milk um, because I want to make like protein shakes again. I've kind of missed my protein powder. I got a new one in the mail and I like it better with coconut milk. I think it works better than oat milk in the smoothie format. <laughs> format so and then just some other random things um some bacon nothing exciting just like things that you guys have seen a million times so quick whole foods run mission accomplished i have 20 minutes until we're recording so i'm gonna put this stuff away and get ready i'm so excited we haven't recorded the podcast in forever okay i talked to sierra for a while and edited half my video <laughs> hiccup and now I'm making my tomato salad thing that I'm bringing to dinner tonight. So I thought I'd show you guys. Um, I did the dressing. I did this random recipe that I found that's like an heirloom tomato, cucumber, whatever. So I just have some balsamic and oil with some garlic in the bottom and then onion. And I'm chopping up these organic heirloom tomatoes I got now. And we're just putting those in next and then i need to chop up a bell pepper as well as oh i'm skipping the olives because i'm personally not a fan of olives and i'm the chef so what i say goes whatever there's something else that i can't remember at this moment but oh cucumber and dill so i never cook with dill actually but i feel like that might be good but if i remember i'll link this recipe down below but don't hold your breath because i suck it's on thekitchen.com without an e and it's called tomato salad with red onion dill and feta so looks delicious right and it was on a list of salads that go well with pasta which is what we're having tonight so that's what i went with this is a mess okay i'll just i'll check back with you when it's closer to being done okay i just added um some finely chopped dill and i'm gonna kind of mix this up it's everything except the tomatoes and the feta so this is gonna marinate for 10 seconds marinate in the fridge 10 seconds <laughs> 10 minutes in the fridge and then i'll add the tomatoes and feta and she'll be done so it smells really good it looks really nice so far and i think it'll be a great salad mix it mix it mix it mix it set timer 10 minutes starting now thanks dude yeah that's a lot of leftover Dill. She's marinated after 10 minutes and I'm gonna add the vegan feta. I'm just gonna eyeball it and kind of just scrape it with a fork. It's kind of difficult mixing as I go. There you have it. Here is the tomato cucumber feta salad with dill. Um, I hope that everyone loves it. I need to head out for the train in like 20 minutes So I'm gonna put on some clothes and Take this to Sarah's place. Actually wait. I am gonna add some salt and pepper like they recommend Do one last little Okay, you guys that's gonna end off this week in my life vlog I just got dressed and by dressed I mean literally wearing lounge clothes I'm wearing biker shorts and this tea. I'm honestly obsessed with these biker shorts. I got them last summer and I raved about them when I first got them. They're linked on my Amazon page, which is in the description always, but they're so 
comfortable i think they're flattering i'd say they're comparable to the feel of lululemon aligns but they're much more affordable and they have pockets on both sides and i'm just obsessed the brand is colorful koala but anyway i'm just gonna put on birkenstocks and look <laughs> like a slob on the train and head to my friend's apartment for dinner and a chill night in i'm very much looking forward to this so it's been quite a week um it's been really fun and like i feel a sense of accomplishment and i just think good things are ahead so subscribe if you're not already for all the vlogs to come i will see you in my next one very soon and until then peace out girl scout <laughs>